I'm Michaela Joachim. And I'm Emily Reese. And, and this, this is CCYM News. Across the nation and around the world, this is CCYM News. special CCYM interview with our new Bishop, Marcus Matthews. Take it away, Nick. Hi, I'm Nick Poole, President of CCYM, and I'm here with Bishop Marcus Matthews here at John Wesley United Methodist Church here in Baltimore. Nice to meet you, Bishop. It's good meeting you also, Nick. Now, Bishop, one of the first things that you have done after coming to our conference is schedule listening sessions. Why do you think that this is important? Nick, thank you for that um, very good question. Um, number one, it gives me an, an opportunity, number one, to meet the people of this annual conference. And also, it gives me an opportunity to listen, to see what are some of the hopes, the dreams of members of this annual conference as we all try to work together. And so, um, these have been some good days um, I think you are aware that we have completed now six districts and we have seen over a thousand persons and none of them have been timid. They have been giving me suggestions and all of this information will be used to prayerfully um, help us discern where God is moving this annual conference. Now, this is the third Episcopal area that you've been appointed to. What do you find unique about this area? I think out of the um, three areas that I've been privileged to um, be the Episcopal leader, um, one of the differences here would be its diversity. This is one of the most diverse annual conference in our connection. As you know, Nick, there are 50 U.S. annual conferences and this is probably the most diverse in terms of um, ethnicity. Um, when we look at our clergy in terms of gender. And so there's a lot of richness here. And I think the other unique thing that we're very proud of as members of the Baltimore Washington Conference is that we're the home of where Methodism got its start. And so there's a lot of rich history here. And so it's good to be in this part of God's world um, because of those factors. What do you like most about this area? Hmm. There are a lot of things I would like to say. Um, I like, number one, the um, rich history that we have. Um, I think we have some excellent clergy and lay leaders in this annual conference. I think that we have um, some excellent ministries that I'm very proud of in this annual conference. Certainly the CCYM being one of those, and I look forward to um, sharing more with you and others. Look forward to Rock, which is um, the largest youth gathering of youth in the United Methodist Church in the U.S. And so there are a lot of things that I'm very, very proud of, that being um, probably the number one. Um, I could say that I love um, the crab cakes. <laughs> um, certainly this is a good time for us because of what's happening with baseball. And so this is really a good place to live, a good place to be in ministry. And um, with all of what's happening across the world, um, I believe that God is blessing this area in some very special ways. If you look at the economy, um, though we do struggle in this area, we are still one of the strongest annual conferences when you look at the U.S. 50 um, areas. Also, God is blessing us because we're in a growth area. There are, um, the stats will say to us that there are um, more people moving into this area than a lot of other parts of the world. So God is blessing us to be in a very good um, place 
And I'm just um, glad to be a part of that and to journey with you and others um, on behalf of God. What do you feel the role of the youth should be in, in the life of the church? My prayer and my hope is that the role of the youth is to be involved at every level of our connectional ministries. Um, I expect youth to be seated at tables where we make decisions about not only the present of uh, where we are today, but also the future um, for this um, great annual conference. And so I look forward to um, making sure that um, in whatever we do as an annual conference, that the voices of our youth are heard at the table. We do realize that there are challenges sometimes because our young people, because of school schedules, because of being away in college. But I would hope because of the use of technology, we will discover ways to use that if need be to have the voice of young people heard um, at the table where we make decisions in the life of this annual conference. It is very important, not for the future, but for today that we do that. Thank you, Bishop. This has been a CCYM News Report. Thanks, Nick. This has been a CCYM News Production.